It's looking like it at the moment, but let's not put the commentator's curse on it, Martin. We know what your track record's like. So, uh, yeah, it's looking good for this duo up front. Liz looking good. I, yeah, we pro- I promise I won't do any... Uh, <laughs> yes, we'll leave that. Just stop, Marty. Stop it now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Longo Borghini on the back, a Lidl Trek. I've been really, really um, enjoying watching the tactics of Lidl Trek, the way they've ridden. I mean, they had so many illness and injury problems for multiple riders last year, didn't they? But they've come into this season, they've got... Balsamo back on form, Van Anroy on form, Longo Borghini's back on form as well. So it is good to see the way they're approaching this season tactically. Yeah, obviously when when you have riders in good form, the tactics are, are somewhat easier to uh, to devise. But having said that, at least Longo Borghini obviously knows that she's in good form as well and just using this motorway bridge to go on the attack. So just, as you said, maybe just a little frustration tactics as well here. But Longo Borghini and Capecchi's shoulders are rocking and rolling here. Looks back at Pop Peterson. Can Elisa Longo Borghini ride clear and get up to Marion Avos and teammate Shirin Van Anroy? Capecchi's looking for help from Peterson and Paternosta, and she's not getting it at the moment. This was a bold move by Elisa Longo Borghini because you have to be very sure that you're going to be able to get a, uh, a decent gap going over that bridge because you do not want to be dragging more riders across to your teammate. But just look at Letizia <laughs> Patanoska going across to Elisa Longo Borghini. We've said many times already that we were impressed with how strong she is, but this was, uh, this was quite some ride by the Italian. If you ever wanted to see a track ride, a demonstration on how you close a gap, that was it. <laughs> Letizia Patanos, the seated acceleration there across the gap. Uh, Longo Borghini looks around. She'll see that she's got company from Patanos. Capecchi is having to dig deep here to get on. What Longo Borghini's got to be careful of now is that she doesn't close the gap enough for, to allow someone like Capecchi to jump across to Van Anroy and Voss and then miss out on a first, second or a third here. Yeah, this is exactly what I was meaning when I said that it was a bold and uh, quite a dangerous move to do. You have to be very certain that you're going to be able to, to pull this one off because suddenly the time gap to the two riders out front is starting to go down. But perhaps there was communication from Shirin Van Amroy up in front that she had an issue or wasn't comfortable. Uh, confident that she was going to be able to win this race so maybe it was that the teammates have uh, had a discussion and, and the decision was made for Elisa Longo Borghini to try and make the move across and it, 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 it's lonely being the world champ sometimes and being Lotte <laughs> Kopecki, isn't it? 3.3k <laughs> to go, Van Anroy and you see Van Anroy just talking into the radio here yeah, so perhaps that was the communication uh, from the team of Little Trek. You can see that Sharon Van Amroy has just sat on the wheel of Mariana Voss at the moment. But you see that time gap coming down now, just 10 seconds, the gap. Longo Borghini and Paternos to take the corner. Peterson is trying to close the gap down here with Lotta Capecchi on the wheel. Capecchi trying to recover. 10 seconds is the gap. That might be closable now after that little turn of power there by Puck Peterson. Will this all come back together? Mariana Voss is being forced to ride on the front. It looks like by Shirin Van Anroy. Elisa Longo Borghini launches another move as Lotte Kopecki and Puck Peterson get close. But each time here, every uh, punch that um, Longo Borghini throws, Pata Nosta just throwing one back. Yeah, she's just gluing herself to the back wheel there, isn't she? Trying to get a free ride across to the front. That might be it. The uh, the wind goes out of the sails. Longo Borghini, Padanosta, Will Capecchi launch one. Just moves through. It looked like she was lining up for one, and she yep. is. <laughs> <laughs> Lotta Capecchi now launches it. And Letizia Paternoster is on the right of a road career today in Dwarsdorf Lander. And Puck Peterson is fighting to stay here. But Letizia Paternoster gets on to Lotta Capecchi. Capecchi with 2.1 kilometers to go. 
they've now the two you've got to say they the two trackies out of this one they've got to try and get across but mariana voss is on the front for visma lisa bike and a lot just latched onto her wheel is shirin van anroy and the gap is holding or is it coming back there's your two leaders just ahead can this one come back the time gap is saying seven seconds but you could see the distance on the road it was really marginal Are these four riders back together again now who's going to be the next one to launch an attack Shirin Van Anroy is leaving Mariana Voss on the front. As we said, there aren't many races that Mariana Voss, the greatest of all time, hasn't won in her career. This race is one of them. This is only her second appearance, though, in Dwarsdorf Lander and third in her debut in this race last year. But behind, they're just starting to look at each other. This might then just play into the hands of Mariana Voss and Shirin Van Anroy at the head of the race because Voss is driving this one on you've got to say the young dutch rider from lidl trek is doing the right thing would you say here danny just letting mariana voss set the pace yeah i mean we obviously don't know what has been communicated between the little trek uh riders but it seems to us that the communication had came that shirin van amroy isn't feeling like she would be able to win this race and so we've seen her just sitting on for the last few kilometers it's an unusual situation to see your teammate attacking from behind when the time gap was so close through the flam rouge pop peterson puts in an attack from those chasers but they haven't got close they haven't closed it right up mariana voss will be confident that she can ride this one and lead it out and still take the victory shirin van anroy is the uh, in the company of cycling royalty you would say here and uh, as a fellow dutch rider as the uh, we just look back everyone's looking back over the shoulder they don't want that chasing group to get up to them Voss tightens the shoes they swing right here and there's the finish line now ahead of them Voss looks back she won't underestimate shirin van anroy at all in this sprint it's visma lisa bike with Voss on the front lidl trek with shirin van anroy on the wheel Voss and van anroy Voss launches the sprint leads it out is it going to be a first career victory Victory in Dwarsdorf Landry for Marion of Voss. Van Anroy gets close, but not close enough. And really split the bunch and, and use the, the whole team to good effect today. So it was a really strong performance from the whole squad, you know, making this front selection and, and taking the race into their own hands. And, you know, ultimately SD Works were, were left on the back foot and uh, weren't present in the front split.